Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we got a couple upgrades, updates, whatever you guys want to state for the uh, Axial SCX-10 II, the Pro Kit. We're trying to get this thing finished up. It's out of a roller stage. It's an actual functional truck now, just not finished. So I'm gonna go over what I've done, why I went that direction, and we're gonna look over at that Ream Hobby as well. I'll explain that during the video. So let's check it out, everybody. everybody here is the axial SEX 10 2 this is the kit version it comes just a chassis your plastics your links you got to put all your electronics in it uh, including rims and tires now these tires you guys recognize this was on the uh, Reem Hobby one okay that's one thing I found different is the offset the offset of the Ream Hobby truck, the wheels will not fit this truck. So I've gone ahead and put these wheels on it. We're gonna run these wheels on this truck anyhow. They look pretty cool. I got them all cleaned up from the last running we did with them. Uh, the uh, directions with the shocks, they state 22, or they state 30 weight oil in the shocks, and they give you 30 weight. I actually changed that and went 22.5, kind of softened them up a little bit so it's a little easier. You can see she's smooth as butter. All right, uh, we gone ahead and did brushed. We got a Cool RC or a Ghoul RC, same product, same brand is what my drone is. Uh, this is a 55 turn. I kind of wanted to test this out. I haven't seen a whole lot of these out on the trails. So I wanted to give my, you know, opinion about this one. The motor ESC combo was $39. So it's a little pricey, but we're gonna see how it works. Uh, but it's a 55 turn. Uh, we got ESC, and this one is a 60 amp ESC, two to three S LiPo. So we're gonna go ahead and run a 2S. There's no sense, we, we don't need 3S on this truck, dude. It's already gonna be quick. Uh, 82.19 is the gearing they send with this truck. And that's what we're gonna run. We're gonna run the stock gear. We're gonna see how it is first. Uh, what else we got going on? Oh yeah, upgrades. Upgrades for this truck. Now, the reason why I did this is the last time I had the Ream Hobby truck out, we perked the front bumper off of it. Literally, clean off of it. I mean, all that's there now is frame rails. So, we're going to find out if a Axial SEX 10 parts fit on this truck all right that's going to be the test we're going to see if they're actually clones because if the scx 10 bumper mounts fit on this truck it's already a step in the right direction so as i upgrade this truck these parts are going to go to this truck because these parts seem to be pretty good we just like upgrading so whatever comes off of here is going to go over here so let's go ahead and get into this thing. Let's get the SEX 10 bumper off of here so we can see if it fits on this truck. All right, we're gonna get this, these screws out of here. I've already taken one out off camera on the other side. This screw right here, we're gonna go ahead and remove this other screw right here. It's simple two screws that hold these front, front and rear bumpers on and they slide into C channels. It's not real, real bad. 
makes it pretty quick and simple to get get them changed out now these bumpers I'm actually going to only put the aluminum pieces on there reason being is the body that I have on order which should have been here before these is actually a body that I don't need the bumpers on so we're not going to put those bumpers on here I'm actually going to run different bumpers so fingers crossed that that comes in real soon because I'm ready for it guys making sure screws line up make sure everything looks good there we go that's the correct direction now let's get in the rest of this package get our screws out and remember aluminum you want Loctite guys blue Loctite don't use red use blue because you'd like to be able to get it off at some point in time get the right size Allen should be this one here bingo and these guys energy these things have been the best bits that I've used so far they come in a set and I haven't wore these tips out at all guys these things are awesome and just give a little dab of Loctite this is a gel that's come with this kit so I don't put Loctite on the plastic stuff but when I'm going into aluminum I will because that's what you need to do you want it to hold out I don't think those yeah, there we go get the other side on and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna test that other bumper out on the ream hobby truck and I'm gonna do that right on camera with you guys that's gonna be a start of will are they interchangeable how's the parts availability because SCX 10 twos the axles are all day long they're all over the aftermarket so if these parts fit this truck we're golden there we go there's the aluminum one on the front you guys can see the nice aluminum got away from the plastic they're just a little more strength the rear still plastic and it's all dull front nice and shiny that's how you know it's aluminum beautiful now I want to test something here's my theory guys I'm leaving you guys live there's the Ream hobby truck you can see we've had some fun with this truck we put it through the ringers you guys seen on my last last video I actually run this thing with a 6x6 out there and a axial rock bouncer but I kind of stopped running it because of what happened to the front bumper as you see it's completely gone and this thing just fell off in my hands there's the piece that actually sets inside the channel here it's completely broke off so we're gonna we're gonna test this theory out and here's the axial bumper that I just took off the axial okay we're gonna remove the front bumper section so we can just have this piece here and we're gonna see if this thing actually drops right in as they claim these things are clones to the axials well we're fixing to find out right here because if this if the channels slide in together guess what definitely parts availability galore means we can change these bumpers out we can do whatever we want to do all right there's the axial bumper and here's the piece that i'm after right here get these broken pieces out of here one 
Now, I haven't even tried these, so I want to do it directly right with you guys. Right on camera with you guys. Because I'm kind of curious if they're identical, if they're the same. You know, they might be modded just a little bit differently, but as long as it works, it fits in the channel, it does what it's supposed to do, I think we got a winner winner. You know, as as they always say, winner winner chicken dinner. Dude, I'll be stoked. Means I've got parts galore for days so far. There we go. The old the old broken pieces are out and they're right there as you guys can see. Here's the new axial. This is the bumper that's off the actual truck. Now, will this thing slide right in the channel is the question. Make sure I'm putting it in the correct direction. Yep. And it was a little tight coming out of the other one because everything's together. Battery box, there we go. Dude, that's right in there. And look at that. The holes line up perfectly. Everything's set in the grooves where it's supposed to be. Dude, that's spot on. That is spot on. I am very, very pleased with that. Now, the question is, will this fit? All right, we got the screws out of it now. We're gonna go ahead and pull this. Here's the piece that we just replaced. That's the rest of it. You see it snapped both ends, both sides off. Literally, it just said, nope, I'm done, as you can see. So definitely, there's a weak point. But it took a couple hits before it broke. And there's what we have left. There's the front bumper section. Now, the ultimate question, will this slide on? Are the holes set the same? Look at that, guys. It's right back on there. Is it set in a good spot? That's the biggest question. Dude, that's right back to factory again. Look at that. That thing is totally sick. Very nice. And it's a lot more sturdy now because the axial parts, you know, is tougher. Let's go ahead and get all these buttoned up here. And uh, give me my final thoughts. All right, guys. And here's the final product. See, bumper's back solid. It's a Reem Hobby truck. He's all fixed up. You see, she's got it on the trailer now. And there's the newest edition. That one's almost complete. All we're waiting for is the body. And boy, you guys out for a surprise on that one, everybody. Somebody's going to be mad that I found one. That might give you a hint on what it is. You see, trailer's all set up, tires and all. Axial SCX-10-2 Pro Builder's Kit. with the Ream Hobby rock crawler. You guys have seen this thing in action. I've actually run this one a little bit for you guys. Guys, I'm stoked, man. Those parts actually fit the Ream Hobby. So, so far so good. Uh, you guys can tell the trainees look the same. They're in the same direction, same everything. So I think we'll be all right by, you know, if we ever need to upgrade gears or repair something, just do an Axio SCX-10-2 transmission gears. Uh, everything else seems to be identical. Uh, portal axles, if I decide to go portal axles, I'm only gonna do one of them. And I might just do the Ream Hobby with portal axles. I don't know. That seems to be the only one I'm having issues with right now. 
uh, the pinion is just on the depths are dropped lower than the axle of the SCX 10. So I may just change axles and put different axles underneath this thing. See what we can find. But yeah, I'm stoked everybody's repairs went well. Got everything fixed as it needs to be. Uh, parts fit right on. And stick around. I've got some spe I got a special treat if it ever shows up. Uh, you guys might like it. Um, I may, once I unveil it to you guys, I'm going to ask you guys if you want me to do it on camera or segments. I'm not sure yet. But if you guys enjoy this video, if this is something you guys like, the fakes and tips and tricks, stuff like that, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and this is something you like, that subscribe button down there, hit that so you know. And that notification, hit that as well. Then you'll definitely know when I upload new videos. Until next time, everybody, I appreciate it. Thanks, everybody.